Today's session is titled Medicare Basics, Understanding Medicare and Your Options. Welcome to Medicare. Medicare is for someone who is a US citizen or legal resident for at least five consecutive years and who has worked 40 hours in the United States. And if the person is under 65 years of age, who is disabled or has ESRD or Lou Gehrig's disease, the person qualifies for Medicare. When you register for Medicare, you will receive a Medicare card. When you register, what you register is called Original Medicare, which is Part A and Part B. You will be assigned a Medicare number. Original Medicare still requires you to be responsible for some costs. And so, the purpose of this session is to explain what Original Medicare covers, why you need additional coverage, and the options you have. The additional Medicare healthcare plans are Part C or Medicare Advantage Plan, Part D Prescription Drug Plan, and Medicare Supplement or Medigap Plan. After getting the original Medicare, you have two options for additional coverage. Option 1, Medicare Supplement Option. You can choose Original Medicare Parts A and B and add Medicare Supplement and a standalone prescription drug plan. Option 2, Medicare Advantage Plan or Part C. Medicare Advantage plans combine Part A and Part B coverage. Many also include prescription drug coverage, Part D, and offer additional benefits. Medicare Advantage plans are offered by Medicare-approved private insurance companies. Let us start with understanding what original Medicare Part A and Part B covers. Part A stands for coverage for hospital. Part A covers inpatient hospital care, inpatient mental health care, skilled nursing facility care, hospice care, some blood transfusions. There is no premium for Part A. Premium is the amount of money you pay monthly for health insurance, so you don't pay monthly premium for Part A. There is a deductible. Deductible is the amount you have to pay before your insurance kicks in to pay the coverage. Thus, for 2021, your deductible for Part A is $1,484. This amount can be changed for different years. You can see that beyond 60 days in the hospital, you have to pay some charges and beyond 150 days, you have to be responsible for all the costs. Very often, hospitals have the patient recover in a skilled nursing facility. You have to be responsible for all the costs beyond 101 days in the nursing home. There is no cap or no out-of-pocket limit. Part B stands for coverage for doctors, specialists, and outpatient coverage. Part B covers physician services, outpatient hospital services, home health services, and you can see the list of coverages from ambulance to therapy. You do have to pay a premium for Part B, medical. This amount is generally deducted from your Social Security income. For 2021, the Part B premium is $148.50 and can change the following year. 
One thing to note is that the Part B premium may be higher if your income is greater than 88,000 for an individual or 176,000 for married couple. These premiums are also subject to change each year. When you use Part B, you do have a deductible of $203 for 2021. You have to pay 20% when you see a doctor, specialist, and Medicare covered services. This is where it comes from, where many seniors passing information from friend to friend talk about paying 20% for Medicare. There is no out-of-pocket limit for example, if you need many visits to physical therapist, you have to pay 20% of the approved amount for each visit, and there is no cap to the amount you pay. Due to the uncertainty of the costs of Part A and Part B, the senior community often look to options of additional coverage to cover the balance of the costs of original Medicare Part A and Part B. One of the options is Medicare Supplement or Medigap. Medigap is offered by private insurance company. The purpose of Medicare Supplement or Medigap is to pay the balance of the bills of Medicare Part A and Part B. You do have a monthly premium and it vary, varies by provider. When you buy Medicare supplement plans, you also have choices of the features and how extensive you want the coverage. These choices are labeled plan, for example, plan A, plan B, until plan N. This is not to be confused with Medicare Part A, Part B. Medicare supplement choices are labels are labeled plan, and Medicare is part. Plan G seems like a popular choice because many seniors prefer to have most items covered except for the Part B deductible. Note that Plan F is no longer available for those turning 65 starting year 2020. Now you have original Medicare, Medicare supplement, which pays for the balance of parts A and B, you still need the prescription drug coverage. When you choose a Medicare supplement option, you will need to buy a standalone prescription drug coverage. Part D helps with the cost of prescription drugs. Part D is offered by Medicare approved private insurance companies. Anyone with Part A and or Part B can qualify to buy a standalone Part D. The premium for Part D varies by the Medicare approved private insurance companies. Some plans have deductible and the copay and coinsurance also vary. Given the high cost of drug, it is well worth the effort to research and manage the costs. To sum up the Medicare supplement or Medigap option, after you have registered for the original Medicare, you would buy Medicare supplement policy and a standalone Part D prescription drug plan. Let us now look at the second option that is Medicare Part C. You need to have the original Medicare Part A and Part B to enroll in Part C. Many major providers integrate Part D prescription drug plan in Part C and thus for those plans you do not need to buy a separate standalone Part D plan. Thus Part C would include meeting the requirements of Parts A and Part B and has Part D 
for many of the Part C plans. You can enroll in either a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan, but not both. Part C is also known as Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage is offered by Medicare approved private insurance companies. Medicare Advantage plans are, covers hospital, doctors and outpatient services, prescription drug plan. Many Medicare Advantage plans include additional benefits like routine dental, vision and hearing care, wellness and services that support care. Part C plans are in the form of HMO, PPO and POS. There are other specially designed plans not mentioned here. You are likely familiar with HMO and PPO plans. Your choice will need further analysis to determine the selection of a Part C plan. The premium for Part C varies starting from low monthly premium. Many plans have no deductible. There is co-pay and sometimes co-insurance. There is a maximum out-of-pocket that is the most you would pay for that year. The maximum out-of-pocket varies by plan and by provider. Some seniors are already certain of their choice, but some may like further understanding of the differences between Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage plans. Here is a quick overview of the comparisons. Doctors and networks. You can select your doctors and hospitals and has no network for Medicare Supplement plans. For Medicare Advantage plans, you may be required to use doctors and hospitals in the plan networks such as HMO and PPO networks. Emergencies are always covered without network considerations for both supplement and Advantage plans, and sometimes covered when traveling abroad. Enrollment. Changing plans is more flexible anytime with Medicare supplement and has specific periods for Medicare Advantage plans. Costs. The monthly plan premium costs in Medicare supplement as compared to low monthly premium in Medicare Advantage is one of the differences. Prescription drug coverage. For Medicare supplement, prescription drug is not included and you need to buy a standalone Part D plan. Part D prescription drug is integrated into most Part C plan, means that you do not have to buy a standalone Part D. Additional services. Medicare Advantage plans may include basic coverage for dental, vision and hearing, whereas Medicare supplement option is not included. The enrollment period when you turn 65 is called ICEP or IEP. You have three months before your 65th birthday, your birthday month, and three months after to enroll. For Medicare Advantage, you can make changes to your plans during AEP, Annual Enrollment Period, that is, October 15th to December 7th. If you find that the plan you selected during AEP is not fitting, you can make changes to your plan during OEP, Open Enrollment Period, that is January 1st to March 31st. Throughout the year, you can enroll or switch plans due to special reason. For example, loss of employer coverage, moving out of a service area, or some special reason. You can go to medicare.gov for useful information about Medicare. 
My name is Yin Qin and thank you for your viewing. Thank you.